sir, before we take a deep look at the decentralized voices news, let's get caught up on the meme coin fun. In this week's meme coin roundup, Pink Game has some bugs where scores weren't recorded, including paying players. No reimbursement has been announced, but in theory, the bug is fixed, though some others seem to be persisting. In other news, Pink partners with Lottery by Lucky, Wood Game going strong with a new upgrade smashing through. Cat Whiff continues to copy other meme coin games. But I guess who isn't? Dog with Dots finishes their second LP drop. Dota is running a governance vote on funding a dev, and Dot Inns claims they've given their refunds to form fillers. Did you get your refund? That's all from me. Back to you, Jay. Thank you, sir. Now, as you may have already heard, the Web3 Foundation, issuers of the DOT token, has released details on the second cohort of their Decentralized Voices program, where they delegate the voting power of DOT and KSM, that's state to bootstrap new validators, to individuals and groups from the community. Only two delegates from the first cohort stuck around for each voting stack. And that's not the only change. Indico? The big event this week is the announcement of the second cohort of Decentralized Voices, this time 10 delegates will be entrusted with 700,000 DOT or 4.2 million DOT of voting power at 6x conviction. A decrease from the first cohort that wielded up to 6 million DOT at max conviction, but an increase from 7 to 10 in the number of voices. DVs will also now be allowed to vote on the Wish for Change and the Treasurer track, and just like for the first cohort, the program will last 3 months with the hope that some will see the value in delegating to active and competent members. Thanks, Indico. So more delegates, but each with slightly less voting power. Exciting to see on the Polkadot side, 30% representation by Spanish DOT holders and community. An important market for Polkadot. Important tech for LATAM. Also, it will be interesting to see how Sci-Tail Digital balances the vote. On the Kusama side, Daniel and the Crevo Project score 18,000 KSM voting power with a one-person, one-vote consensus scheme. Dr. Cow brings in his Chinese community. And fervent critic of everything, all the time, Bruno Schwork gets a seat. But with relatively little activity on Kusama governance, can these delegates make a difference? We'll talk about that today on Attempts at Governance live on X and YouTube. But first, a quick transparency report on the Coos Treasury, Blinken. This past week has been a doozy, for real. The Coos received a top-out payment from the Polkadot Treasury, and at the same time, the market has been volatile. We increased our stake position by 50% via Bifrost VDOT, and I went ahead and scheduled some DCAs via Hydra meant to rebalance our portfolio into a more manageable, long-term position. Our Kusama validator is humming along nicely at over 4 KSM rewards after about 27 days. Thank you, Lucky Friday and Bifrost for helping us out with that. Our Polkadot validator has not earned any rewards yet, but we'll get there. Those of you that would like to support the coups can do so by staking DOT or KSM with Talisman or Bifrost. Treasury allocations at the time of recording are about 46% DOT, 25% Stables, 13% IBTC, and 13% ETH with the remainder being mostly BNC. Back to you, Jay. Thank you, sir. We'll see you in just a few minutes on AAG and then back here again tomorrow. Have a great day, everybody.